morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. I am Old Man 102 Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Vintage Story. So I messed up the beginning part of this recording, and I had to trash it. So what I have done is I grabbed... I, I found a vein of quartz, and I found a vein of borax. So I brought some borax back, and I threw it in the quern, and I crushed down enough to get us some powdered borax. Let me just throw this back in there and this back in there. So I, I crushed down the... down into borax dust, and then I put the borax dust in here with full water, and we sealed it. And in 18 hours, well, and then I threw in 12 raw hides. So in another 14 to 18 hours, we'll have soaked hides that we have to scrape. That's an easy process. Now, I thought I had oak logs to make strong tannin and weak tannin. And knowing me, I probably chopped them up into firewood because I can't find my oak logs and I had to go on a really long journey to find those oak logs and I probably chopped them up to turn them into fencing yeah because we have I've got pine I've got redwood and I don't have much resin and I have no pine in there. I have no oak in there, so I've we're gonna have to go on I'm gonna have to go back on a hunt for oak logs. Now I made two plates, so I need those two for a lantern. But we're gonna take this crucible. Um let me get an empty slot. Uh seven. Let's take the cooking pot out. Let's throw the Oh, I should have grabbed the copper while I was over here. I want to, I want to pour, I want two more, no, two more iron ingots, or, oh, I gotta get some of this crap out of my inventory. Alright, so I want to, I want 200. Two hundred units. Oh, what do we have in here? We got a little bit of firewood in there. Let's grab a couple more. I'm also going to need the coal. I saw the coal in my inventory. I saw the coal in my inventory. And of course, I've got something in my hand, so I can't open it up. So let's throw those in there. Let's get torch in here. We'll get these poured. Then I can get some more of the stuff out of my inventory. And what I also didn't show you, I was making uh, fire, fire clay bricks. Because we are going to make a, a bloomery. So we need a bloomery base and a bloomery top. So I have enough to make four complete, so four bases and four tops. So I should have um, more bricks out in the pit kiln waiting to be fired. So we need those for glass making, uh, crafting, okay, I don't want colored glass, I just want glass. But I believe we take our, we have clear quartz and we have quartz chunks. Smelting temp, so four pieces smelt into two glass. So we have some quartz, I have some clear quartz and I think I have some quartz chunks. 
give this a minute so I can swap this out with some coal. Yeah, so we'll swap this out with the coal. And it won't take long to come up to temperature. So I have, what do we have? So I have quartz chunks when pulverized turns into one crushed quartz. And I think I need the crushed quartz in the bloomery, but I'm not 100% sure. i got to jump back on wiki. And then we have 35 clear quartz that will smelt into two glass. So, I'm going to have to jump back on wiki and figure out the whole bloomery and the glass thing. Because the handbook is not very clear. So how do I get a glass block? It just tells me colored glass, so it doesn't tell me the sequence I need for regular glass. Here, smelting glass. Bloomery base. Yeah, that I have. Add glass batch to the bloomery. Fill enough fuel and light the bloomery. Once smelting process is done, break the bloomery part. Yeah, and get the glass blocks. That I know. But it doesn't tell me what I need to put in the darn bloomery. To make the, the glass. See, this just tells me here, I have already, so it doesn't tell me how to get to the glass block. It tells me what to do with it. So if I have the clear, okay, so the, the quartz chunk will turn, smelts into glass. So I need, I think I just need quartz chunk. Um, let's grab this first. So I gotta, I'll jump back on Wiki and figure out the whole glass thing. Right, so let's throw that in there. Let's grab the coal out of there so it no longer burns. And I wanted to pour myself two more ingots. Let them cool because I. I had some, I made some glass before and I thought I made it with just straight up clear quartz without smelting it, but I could be wrong. Okay, no, all I need is clear quartz. Clear quartz will turn into the glass. So I just got I, I got to get clear quartz. I believe. Bone ash, powdered quartz. Powdered quartz. Crushed quartz. What's the difference between powdered quartz? and crushed quartz. So that's a pulverizer. Powdered quartz grinding. But then what do I do with the crushed quartz? Turns into powdered quartz. Yes, yeah, I, I don't want I don't want to grind it down or pulverize it until I figure out exactly what we need. Uh, let's look at a lantern. So copper lantern. We need a candle, which I have. I got to get some of the stuff out of my inventory. So one candle. We have the plate, and then I need some clear quartz. Let's grab the clear quartz. Oh, let's grab both candles. I might be able to make two. Where was that other candle? Let's grab both candles. 
candles. Uh, and then I thought it was two plates, but I could be wrong. Let's pick those up. So if we look at the copper lantern, we have clear quartz, clear quartz, uh, one candle, and then is it one? Oh, it is one. So I can make two of these. So let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. Let's put those in there. And I believe I can make us two lanterns. We're going to keep one on us, and we're going to probably replace. I'm tired of putting candles downstairs, so let's go down. I'm tired of replacing these torches because every time I come down, they're burnt out. So if we take that guy down, and we put one of our lanterns there, and I keep one of them on us for cave exploring. How bright will it stay in here with, oh nice, with just the lantern. So yeah, I'm going to keep one lantern down here. That's going to be so much nicer. And I'll keep one on, but one on us for traveling. Whoa. I gotta get another lantern. I'll probably take this block out eventually and put another lantern there. Alright, so that is now taken care of. So let's get some of my mess cleaned up. So firewood. Uh, ores. Well, let's get this out of our hand. Um, so ores. Get our copper back in there. Let's get our quartz in there. Let's throw our borax in here. We'll relight that torch. I have a tin bronze hammer. And we have a tin bronze pickaxe. Now the pickaxe I'm going to keep on me. Uh, cooking pot can go back. So I get the cooking pot out of my hand. Let's get both hammers out of my hand. And then we have a cooking pot. Please tell me you're not going to light back up. Okay. So we'll throw the cooking pot in there, get that out of our inventory, and then let's take, well, let's try out our new lantern. Let's take these fire bricks outside. We got our first lantern, I'm so excited. We have Mac, we have, now that we have wax, we can make more candles, so I'm going to keep making copper plates. So yeah, I already have a bunch of these bricks in here to be fired. So let's throw 12 of them in this one. And we'll throw 12 in this one. So I've got all this to fire. So we'll be able to make four bloomeries. I've got some more jugs going. I've got some more ingot molds going. And I've got some more crocs. So now that this is full, we're going to have to get some grass and branches. and get this fired up. Alright, let me throw this extinguished one down. And then we can relight them. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to relight it. Alright, let me relight this one first. Yeah, I'm going to get lanterns out. I'm going to get lanterns, like, everywhere. Tied our torches. Let's light this one. Get my inventory cleaned up a little bit. 
All right, so we have some pie, we have some food, we have a bowl, but unfortunately it's one o'clock in the morning. All right, so let's get the lantern off of here. So I'm gonna have to go hunting for oak. Um, the next thing I want to look at is a is it a, a juice press? Is it a fruit press? Oh. I thought it was a right here. Oh, screw press. All right, so we we have to make a chisel. We have to make ourselves a chisel, which means I'm going to have to use one of my two copper that I wanted to turn into that I wanted to turn into more lanterns. Uh, let's grab the coal. Oh, I should have put it down here. So let's grab the coal. Let's grab a lantern. And we'll do one real quick. We gotta make a chisel. So while that's getting warm, Let's look at that again. I thought it was a juice press. Apple juice. We can well, that doesn't matter. Let's look at blueberry juice. That's not going to tell me anything. I kind of swear it was a. Uh, so let's look at that recipe again. I believe it's the, the screw press. So we're going to need a copper ingot, which we have one. I have two. Re I have two resin. I have one lump of fat. I, ha I think I have one lump of fat left. We have some wood. We just need a chisel, which I haven't made yet. Let's grab our hammer. Uh, this should do. But yeah, I need two iron ingots to make one plate for a lantern, so I'm going to have to pour another copper. But I don't think I have enough quartz left to make it. i got to figure out the whole glass thing I'll definitely jump on a uh, wiki. All right, so 1100 degrees. Uh, we need a copper chisel. All right, so let's come over this way a little bit. So down. Oh, stop. All right, down. Yeah, I, I'm just getting the hang of this smithing thing. So now we go take you away, take you away. already messed up three ingots. Alright, so we, now that we have, and I think if you just like drop it on the ground, I, or throw it in a rack, I think it cools down pretty quick. Oh, I can't drop it down. But I think if you hang it, it cools, does it, I guess it doesn't cool down. We'll leave it up there. 
So we'll see if we can catch the, uh, <laughs> see if we can catch the, uh, Tolrak on fire. Alright, so now that we have a chisel, we're gonna need the chisel and the hammer. So let's, so we needed some boards. We needed a lump of fat, which I have, to, oh, I, I have one lump of fat left. And then I think I have, uh, some resin. Let's grab the chisel, let's grab the hammer, let's grab the handbook, so the screw press. Alright, so hammer, chisel, lump of fat, crap, I forgot to ink it. I forgot to ink it. Alright, so let's try that again. Screw press. Alright, so hammer, ingot, fat, chisel, two of those, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, we have ourselves a screw press. So we can do, now the problem is I need to expand this kitchen. Let's put it here for now. So the kitchen I definitely have to expand. So let's get... Uh, let's get the coal out of my inventory. Get our tools put away. We'll get this out of our inventory. We'll get the boards out of our inventory. So let's put you back. Put you back. Uh, wood and resin. Put the resin back. I'm gonna have to go hunting for oak. And then items built. Throw that in there. And then let's grab our bucket. So the bucket will go in under there, and let's come out here. And we need a complete stack of berries. I have a complete stack. Oh, uh, hold on, y'all. Let me close my door. Alright. Sorry about that. Somebody just came home. I usually record when there's nobody home, so they just got home. Now, I don't need... I don't know how many berries I need. I'm hoping that'll do it. So if we go, number six. Oh, oh there we go. All right, so that was good. Now we come up top and we go squeeze her down. And we should have, should be going into our bucket. Bucket contains, so oh, it's still squeezing. Nine point eight nine liters of. I don't think you can squish it twice. I don't. Yeah, I didn't think you can squish it twice. Can I add more berries and then squish it again? No. 
I can't. It's just going to swap it out for the mash. When I just lost those berries. But if we grab our bucket, we have 9.89 liters of. Let's grab our jugs. Uh, let me separate these. So we have, oh, do I now have two jugs full? Oh, let's try that again. Oh, not what I wanted. Oh, so it's just once. Hang on. Empty, three liters. Okay, so you only have to do it once. So... These, I want to throw these downstairs. I want to see if these will store. Which I don't know if they'll store or not. That's This was more of an experiment to see what these things would do. And it's, okay, so we'll give it some time to register. We'll come back and check on those. And see if they're going to, if it gives me like a spoil rate or a spoil date. Now what do we have left in there? 3.29 liters. I have a... a uh, berry juice. Fresh berry juice. What's left in there? 0.89 liters, so we'll have to, I'm just going to set the cup down here. So I'll have to empty that out before we can use it again, but I wanted to get that built as well. Um, what else? Oak. So I'm going to have to go hunting for oak. And I didn't want to do that. So we have copper, blue clay, copper, I found, if I can, where it is on the map, I was out looking for something. And I think it's right here. Oh, that that's my cave with the sulfur in it. Sulfur? I type, I'll have to go back and look. I, right there, iron. I found meteorite, meteorite, meteorite iron or something like that down here so we're going to have to come down and we'll, I'll do that on camera we'll come down here looking for that iron and then where did I find oh, I think I went this way yeah here's the cave with the quartz in it and then I didn't check this cave out yet but I also found, I think, some more borax. I've found, I've been finding a ton of lead, but I don't know what to do with the lead. Our bees are still up here. We could bring more skeps up here and get more bees if we want to. But yeah, but I'm finding a ton of lead all over the place. Oh, so here's my coal. We're going to have to come up here and do another run for coal. And then I have enough borax for a while. I won't need any borax for a while. So we'll go... I gotta go looking for oak. But we're about 30 minutes in. I am Old Man 102. Please smash that like and subscribe on your way out and have an awesome day.